Fall in the garden. Let's chat about some things you can do in your garden in the fall. And if you are enrolled in my online gardening course, be sure to log in to watch this video because as I talk about all of these things, I will link into the course where you can learn more about each of them. And if you are not enrolled in my course, I will give you a link down below where you can check it out. So fall in the garden. Well, there is planting that happens in the fall. I kind of covered some of this in my video, in my summer video, but late summer, early fall, we will plant garlic often for harvesting the following summer. We will plant our spring flowering bulbs anytime in, in the fall, as long as it hasn't frozen yet. Your, your tulips, your daffodils, great time to plant them in the fall. And we plant our cover crops in the early fall, late summer, six to eight weeks before frost, our grasses and legumes, and maybe some other things in there. Tree planting is something that some people like to do in the fall as well. Really, spring and fall are both Pretty good times for planting trees. Kind of depends where you are in the world. If you have harsh winters, then spring may be a little bit better to plant trees because it gives them more time to get established before that winter. If, on the other hand, your winters are not too bad, but your summers are very hot, you may find that you want to plant in the fall to give the trees more time before that hot summer to get established. But really, both can be fine. You may find there are some really excellent deals on trees in the fall, like 30 to 50% off. That can be pretty enticing to make you go buy some trees and plant them right away. But in the spring, you often have a better selection of trees. So long story short, some people like to plant trees in the fall. It's certainly a fine time to do it. Maintenance in the fall is fairly similar to summer. We want to keep bringing in our fertilizers, especially if you have a fall crop that you're growing. I'll say it again, for me, it's effective microorganisms and seaweed and ocean water and molasses and compost tea. Keep these things going in the fall because your plants need that energy, those nutrients and those microorganisms. Also in the fall, we continue to harvest. We want to harvest most things before the frost comes. There are some things that actually get a little sweeter and nicer after a frost, like some brassicas, like Brussels sprouts and kale and parsnips and carrots. Leave some of these things until after the frost, even well after the frost. You can just pick them when you need them. What we do in the fall, we do a lot of seed saving in the fall. A lot of things we want to just let them go, stay on the plant until they're well beyond ripe for seed saving. That is your beans, your corn, your squash, your eggplant. Let these things get dry and shriveled and then we harvest them. Soil work is often done in the fall too, especially if you've gotten rid of plants in part of the garden. It's a good time to do a soil test and fertilize based on the results of that test and you can work the fertilizers into the soil in the fall. Fall is also the time when the leaves fall. That's why it's called fall. At least that's what I'm told. This is one of my favorite tasks in the garden every year. It's just it's raking up all the leaves, bringing them into the garden. They will protect the soil over winter. They will block weeds. They will enrich the soil. There's so many good things about bringing leaves in there. It's a good time of year to build a compost pile too because you have leaves, you have a lot of your crops have been spent and you can pull them all into a compost pile. Or if you already have a compost pile, it's a good time of year to turn that and before winter, maybe cover it up if you have wet rainy winters and you want to protect that pile from leaching too much nutrition. Now I will say this about building a compost pile. I like to always have a compost pile because I like to use the compost, but I also like to just put things right into the garden. So my plants, like my tomatoes and everything that's left over, I leave a lot of that right in the garden. There will be insects and microorganisms living on the plants, living down by the roots, and they'll be happy if I don't pull their homes, their food away from them. So leaving some of that there is entirely fine. Yeah, fall is a good time of year to like prepare some beds, add some compost, all that kind of stuff that we can also do in the early spring. We may just have a little more time in the fall. So that is fall. There is a lot still happening in the garden in the fall. We are planting things, especially for the following year, like garlic and spring flowering bulbs and cover crops. We might be planting trees. We continue to fertilize throughout the fall, continue to harvest crops throughout the fall. We do a lot of seed saving. We may do some soil work, preparing beds, and compost and raking in the leaves and all that stuff. And that's it. There's just lots to continue doing 
all throughout the fall. So I will give you some links down below and I will give you a link right here.